All right, so let's talk about the door. For those of you who don't know, the door is an interactive project I worked on for most of 2020. While the world was falling apart and everyone was getting all nutty about the virus, I was like, well, I have a lot of free time on my hands. Why don't I try uh, an alternate reality game, you know, an ARG? Because I, at this point, I was well into the world of ARGs. I was big into the medium, and I think the medium still has a lot of potential. The door tried an approach I don't think many ARGs have tried, that is, using the Nicholas Comics method of drumming up as much publicity as possible. If you know things about me, it's that I'm a very enthusiastic guy, and I tend to overhype myself and really advertise everything I make to like an obscene extent. Like, I, I consider everything I make uh, an important part of my career. And just like a lot of my other work that's come under fire, you know, for being too provocative or whatnot, um, The Door was in a similar vein because a lot of people hate me for it, and a lot of people hate it. But I'm not embarrassed about having made it at all. It was a lot of fun to make, and I, I, I made it. Uh, that was me. It's entirely me. I made The Door. This obviously won't be a surprise to many of you. Most of you already know this, but The Door has a bad reputation among ARG fans because uh, of the way in which I tried getting it out to the public's attention. That is, I went on Reddit and I posted about it a lot and I tried being mysterious and spooky because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do when you're running an ARG, right? You're supposed to be mysterious, enigmatic, and kind of drive the project forward behind the scenes, pulling the strings per se. So, of course, I adopt this persona of the door. I make a rated account, I call it the door, and I go about making all these spooky videos and spooky pictures and an entire spooky website, which you can still visit today. And it was a lot of fun. The problem was that there were a lot of morons who don't like having fun and don't like fun interactive experiences. So, I would PM a lot of people on the ARG subreddit, private message them, for those of you who don't know this internet lingo, and I'd be like, the door is opening, the door is going to close, the door is whatever. And I was kind of making it up as I went along, because, you know, that's the fun of the creative process. You make things up as you go along. But a lot of people uh, took this in the wrong way. They thought I was spamming them, or that, uh, even worse, the door was just an advertisement for Nicholas Comics, which it absolutely wasn't. It was, it was you know, a, a, an alternate reality game, an ARG, like I had seen so many other people pull off without a hitch. I was like, heck yeah, the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much clout for this, you know, because at the time, a lot of big ARGs were popping off. You, you had I am Sophie. You had, a bun I'd say 2020 was kind of the year for ARGs because everyone was stuck at home. They're bored. They need something to do, you know, so um, ARG's a real boon in 2020. And the problem is that a lot of people on the ARG subreddit weren't actually as dedicated to ARG's as they pretended to be. In fact, a lot of people on the ARG subreddit were legitimately scummy people who wouldn't know creativity or originality if it bit them in the ass. So they were like, this is all just an advertisement for Nicholas Comics because some geniuses had actually noticed that the door directly to my left, right over there, is the same door that showed up in the door videos. Um, you know, I had shown it in some of my regular content. It showed up in the door videos, obviously, because it's the door. It's the door that is featured prominently in the series. The potential of the series came from taking an ordinary object, like a door, that door over there, and trying to make it as interesting as possible, thinking up a scenario, a situation around it and then working that into an entire universe of wacky shenanigans. And I made it a sci-fi, kind of kind of post-apocalyptic type scenario, um, you know, because I like sci-fi, and I figured, you know, I'm working like an alternate timeline into here, because it's an alternate reality game. I was like, I'll take this door, and I'll make it, I'll make it more fun. And uh, people, people just had a crazy amount of backlash. Now keep in mind, I have a better reputation now, but this was back when Nicholas Comics weren't exactly looked at in the highest regard, so to be associated with Nicholas Comics was essentially like being associated with cancer. Uh, no, nobody was much into it. 
Um, so people boycotted this ARG in mass. They were like, oh no, it's just an advertisement for Nicholas Comics. And it wasn't. It was, it was a different thing I was trying to do. But, you know, some people just don't know how to have fun or enjoy, uh, you know, a, a, a story. So um, for, for everyone who didn't like the door, the problem wasn't that it wasn't a good ARG. It, it was a great ARG. The problem was that you don't know how to how to suspend your disbelief, you know, because obviously it's just a story. But like these people got so incessant about it just being an advertisement for Nicholas Comics, which it wasn't. I, I for an entire year I poured every fiber of my being into the door. An entire year. People were very incessant. Like this is just an advertisement for Nicholas Comics. Um, the guy behind this ARG is mentally ill, or so on and so forth, and it got really, really tiresome. So it only lasted one year, but that's okay because um, I finished it. It's it's a complete uh, little web series and a complete story, and I'm really proud of it. I'm still proud of it. And if you don't like it, then all that means is that you're no fun, and you probably don't get invited to too many parties. Like I put some real effort into this thing. And you might, you might not even know what I'm talking about, but I put some real effort into it back in 2020. Like, for instance, there was one point where I put together an entire, like, mail system and, like, geocaches and stuff for people to literally go out and find uh, in, in real life, in the real world. And I, like, tape them to pulls and stuff, and um, no one ever did that. And I, I felt like I had wasted my time, you know, because when I create something, it's for people to enjoy and have fun with. And if all they can do is whine and complain about how I'm such a horrible person, then that's on them. Now, probably the worst, I will admit, I handled this poorly, is that I, uh, I said that two random Scandinavian guys who were also from Denver had been behind the ARG. So I knew very well that if the door was outed as a Nicholas Comics adjacent project helmed by me, because keep in mind, at this point, I was very unpopular among my my internet peers and ARG fans and pretty much everyone, for no reason other than that I sell entertaining content at a decent price. I knew that if the door was associated with me, um, it wouldn't succeed. So, I completely removed myself from the project. The only way that you would be able to tell if the door was from me is if, like I said, my the door showed up in it, or if you happen to recognize my voice, because I did quite a bit of voice work on the project, and I used a tape recorder to make it sound authentic and gritty. And some people just don't understand this kind of experimental filmmaking. I get it. But it had tons of codes and tons of fun puzzles with which you could kind of, kind of unravel the story, decipher the narrative, if you will. And, uh, you know, I just think a lot of people ARGs take time and effort, both on the part of the creators and the players. So, a lot of people are like, This ARG is shit. I'm not looking into it anymore because this is just an advertisement for your stinking comics. And uh, to those people, I have to say, no, it wasn't. In keeping with this, because I, I had to keep up the, the narrative that this wasn't my thing, I invented a story about being contacted by two Scandinavian guys who like my aesthetic uh, is a kind of visual consultant. So they were technically the owners and operators of the franchise, and I was just their visual consultant. But was this a lie? Yeah, sure, it was a lie, but the goal of an ARG isn't to find out who's making it. The goal of an ARG is to find out what the story is. So it doesn't matter if I made it, or if these two fictional Scandinavian guys made it, or who made it. It's for fun, you know, it's to have fun. And I think a lot of people in this day and age just don't know how to have fun because they've always got to find someone to, to hate for no reason. All I try to do is entertain people. And if you're not entertained by me, then that's your problem. Learn how to be entertained. So I invented this story about the two Scandinavian guys. And, you know, people, people acted like this was some kind of incredible deception. Oh no, how c he's lying to us because it's really just an advertisement for Nicholas Com But if I was honest and revealed that I had been behind all of it, then it, it wouldn't have succeeded. And since I, since I said the Scandinavian guys were behind it, um, it also just didn't succeed. So um, I, I gained nothing from telling the truth, so I figured, yeah, I'll fib. Now, normally I'm not dishonest, but 
Um, I don't have to tell anyone the truth. As a storyteller, sometimes it's within my creative license to kind of, you know, make things up or, you know, kind of, kind of uh, tell little fibs here and there, you know, to kind of increase the uh, plausibility of the narrative, as it were. And if you don't like it, I guess you don't understand fiction or how fiction works or how fictional narratives operate because, um, you know, lying is an important part of storytelling and especially immersive storytelling like ARGs where the, the key is to be disingenuous. Every ARG relies on the, an unreliable narrator who's either, you know, insane or under some kind of influence or dealing with some kind of stuff, you know. ARGs are meant to be cryptic, so in detaching myself from the narrative, I actually increased the interactivity of the narrative. Putting forth some plausible deniability, I, I in effect increased the, the ARG-ness of the ARG, if that makes sense. So, no, it doesn't matter that I lied to anyone because, uh, you know, this isn't like the kind of thing that lying about will get you in trouble. It's a fun little, it's a fun little internet game. And if you can't handle that I didn't, that I wasn't honest with you, then I guess grow up, because ARGs are full of lies and, and shit, and a part of ARGs. And, you know, I like ARGs, they're fun. I'm releasing this video on the one year anniversary of the last door video that came out, December 6th, because I feel it's important to let you people know, at long last, that yeah, I'm willing to own up to it. I made the door, and Am I ashamed of how the door turned out? No, it's a fucking awesome ARG, and you can go play it right now if you want. Um, there, there obviously won't be an interactive element, because, you know, I'm not going to be online as the door all the time, because now that I've been exposed as the creator, it kind of ruins the fun. But that's what I feel these people wanted, uh, to ruin the fun, to kind of, you know, destroy an ARG. And to those people who, by the way, include the moderators of r slash ARG, the official ARG subreddit, you're only killing the medium. You're only destroying the things you love, and, you know, next time be more, uh, you know, nice to people who take the time out of their day to create free and fun, cool, you know, interactive experiences, because ARGs are a really important thing on the internet, I think. I think they're a new type of art. They, 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 they give all kinds of new potential that, that didn't exist before. I think ARGs are fucking awesome. And I'm probably the world's biggest ARG fan. I'll come out and say it right now. Um, so that's why I made the door. So was the door a failure? Uh, no, the door wasn't a failure. The door was actually an immense success. And while very few people played it, um, because it was constantly bombarded with hate and spam and attacks and all kinds of shit, um, I consider it a success because it's a really fun story. And that's how I see most of my work, even if it doesn't sell that much or, you know, get the widest popular acclaim, um, it's still fun for me to make. And I think this is something that a lot of people don't understand. I've said on occasion that the reason I make comics is because I want money. That's part of it. But it's really not for money or attention or even to get famous, really. It's just because Making things uh, is fun for me. I like being productive, I like being creative, and uh, there's no way to stop me, you know? If you don't like who I am, then uh, deal with it. Go do something else. And quite frankly, if you don't like ARGs, and you don't want to get private messaged about an ARG that's happening, then don't go on an, an ARG subreddit, you know? So that's my advice, personally. If you don't want to if you don't want to look like you're interested in ARGs and you're not, then don't post on an ARG subreddit, because there will be people who are running ARGs and are like, hey, check out this ARG, you know? That's just how it happens. So, deal with it, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do for the next year is revitalize the door. That's right. I'm going to write a collection of short stories, all of which tie into the narrative of the door. So if you want to catch up, I'm going to leave a link to the original Door channel in the description so you can check it out and, uh, you know, give me feedback. I don't mind, I don't mind being told how, how my uh, storytelling is, but what I do mind is when a bunch of people just say that it's an ad for Nicholas Comics for no reason. But it goes beyond that. I'm going to try to make an entire universe, an entire paratext, as it were, 
to a lot of the work that I've been putting out over the past couple of years, uh, some of my more obscure stuff. And I'm going to call it the alternate state sequence. And it's going to be really fun. It's going to be, it's going to be five different, uh, five different volumes, all printed, all, all books, um, well, four, like one novel, uh, or no, two novels, two short story collections, one comic, so five in all. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to put it together over 2022. One of them is going to be about the door, one of them is going to be a comic. Um, they all tie into each other, they all have uh, themes that carry over from one into the next and like that. And it's going to be a, a lot of fun. I think the door is kind of like the the first entry cr chronologically, but I'm going to try and make a really cool, immersive uh, kind of sequence, kind of a kind of a quintology, I guess you'd call it, uh, a series of postmodern fiction that I think is going to really, um, you know, re re revitalize American postmodern fiction. I've always liked postmodern stuff, and I'm going to try my best. Uh, to capture the creative spirit and really put my own twist on it. So if you're excited for that, which let, let's not kid ourselves, who wouldn't be, um, then great. You're going to have so much fun over the next year. The bad news is that I am going to have to not make so many videos uh, in order to get all this work done because it's going to be a lot of work to finish all five of these things. And like, you know, maybe 2023 I'll, I'll start making like 10 videos a month again, but for 2022 if I'm gonna if I'm gonna finish this stuff, I'm gonna need to maybe put like four videos a month out. Not not like ten, you know, because that's that's a lot of videos. And as much as I like video content, I think my my number one passion will always be with comics and novels and the like. But don't worry, the videos are gonna keep coming out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, still gonna review stuff. I'm gonna keep my series going, but I'm gonna have to cut back on that some and really work hard on these uh, novels. So it's going to be kind of an interactive experience. It's not going to be a full-on ARG, not a full-on alternate reality game, because I kind of feel like the alternate reality game community is toxic after what happened with The Door. So I think I'm just going to put out uh, two short story collections, two novels, one comic. No spoilers as to what any of them are, but they're going to be mysterious, they're going to be weird, and most of all, they're going to be fun, because my number one objective in creating things is for them to be fun for people. And if you've helped me to get to this point, and you like what I do, then great. Thanks a lot, uh, you great people. And, uh, you know, tell, tell your pals about this. Get, get cracking, because I'm going to be leaving so many fun clues and, uh, you know, just kind of puzzles around the internet for the next year or so that it's going to be wild. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, be sure and, you know, subscribe and like and all that, because I, I, I want as many of you as possible to have the opportunity to experience this fun stuff. But if you're one of the sad sacks who have been moping around for the past three years and trying to discourage me or deter me from following my dreams, then I have some news for you. It's not going to work. Um, these five things are going to come out whether you help me or not, or whether you support me or not. And if you don't, if you don't buy them when they come out, then all you'll be doing is depriving yourself of fun. And don't worry if you if you can't buy them or whatever. Uh, some of them will be available for free online, um, with even bonus content like you know interactive features and like that that are only available online. But if you really want the full experience, I'm going to be putting them out in five volumes, and. Um, you can you can buy all five once all five are released. I'm gonna release like them individually, and then as like a set. And yeah, it's just gonna be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, you know, people who, who've discouraged me, all you're gonna be missing out on is like one of the best best gosh darn literary developments the world has ever seen. So it's gonna be so much fun. And uh, yeah, my only goal is to entertain people. You'll notice that when I when I start on a big project like this, I don't ask for a single dollar through like Kickstarter or Patreon or whatever because I think that's a dishonest business practice and I like making things first and then selling them once they're a finished product. I don't like, you know, 
asking people for funds just to get something made. I'm going to ensure that, you know, it'll be a complete product before um, I offer it for sale. I think that's a much more decent business model, but again, my primary objective in this isn't even to make money. It's just because I'm straight up nuts, I'm straight up wacky, and all I want to do is just produce. I just want to create content. I don't even know what it is. I, ju I just do. It's just some kind of drive in me that just feels like, write a whole freaking novel, and I'm just like, okay, that's what I'll do. It's how, it's how I prefer to spend my time. And maybe that's not how you prefer to spend your time, but, you know, everyone is different. And if you can't accept that, then uh, the world is going to be hard for you. But, yeah, the door is interesting. So I'm going to link down to the door channel in the description so you can go check it out. I'm finally coming clean about it. I'm finally being honest about it because an entire year has passed. And quite frankly, anyone who's still picking on me for writing comics and and you just you're just having fun, you know, you suck. And... You know, you're, you're what's wrong with the internet today, and uh, you should you should encourage productivity instead of instead of like, you know, trying to deter it. Like if someone puts together an entire freaking web show for you, or an entire alternate reality game, you know, be thankful because that takes actual effort. It takes time. It takes resources. It takes energy. Putting these five things out is going to take like a ton of energy. But I think I can do it. I think by the end of 2022, I can do it. Yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm, I'm pumped. So, yeah. Uh, and, you know, I might lie to you. I might. But, um, you know, that's, that's a necessary part of, in, of, of an inter, of interactive storytelling. So, it's like, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. This is going to be amazing, so, yeah.